Okay, so let's walk around this beautiful Mercedes GLE 43 Coupe. So if you may have noticed, this one's kind of unique to the styling of it. So it has this black paint work, but the rare part of this car is the AMG Studio Performance package. And as you may have noticed, it has the nice orange accents in the front here. which gives it a edgy look to it and the LED intelligent light system which is definitely a must for these kind of cars it looks really awesome this car also has the AMG grille and uh, what is it the driver assist package so that allows you to have the car drive itself and um, later in the video I'm gonna show you basically how that works on the freeway. I know I'm not going around at the speed limit, which I'll probably be in Mexico now. Oops, now I need to touch the steering wheel. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. It veers a little bit to the right, but um, uh, 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 right. let's see how it does. No, 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 I don't trust it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take back the steering wheel. But actually, there you go. You can see it's doing it, it's doing it, it's doing it itself. Oops, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, no hands. Hey mom, look, no hands. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> Traffic. Also, there's a camera in front. And, yep. Then, on this side here, we have this nice stance, coupe style. Um, it also basically is looking really sexy and has a aggressive look to it with these hood bulges, which has the look of an AMG, which is important, right? You wanna always have a nice look to the AMG styling. So here, it has this kind of pinstripe in orange which should come out in the video with the nice 21 inch rims um, with what is it these are cross contact tires which is from I don't know actually well in any case has a pretty large braking system there continental yeah of course, of course they're Continentals. And then you have this AMG by Turbo 4MATIC. Another place that a lot of people don't know where it is, but this is one of the cameras to help the car have the bird's eye view for your parking. So, has a sleek look to the side as well. 
Um, another feature or option you can get for the car is this side running so you can step up and then jump into the car which I'll show you in a little bit when I show you the interior of the car. You have this sleek lighting system back here with the AMG and GLE 43. It also comes with standard spoiler lip which is the body color. You can I think also get a carbon fiber lip as well if you want to have it looking sportier again. Yeah. Yeah. Then the GLE 43 you have the same side over here. A lot of the cars in Europe are having them on the passenger side. Some of the newer Mercedes they have them on the driver side which is a little annoying but um, I think that's depending on where it is and where it was built. So this also has the night package so it blacks out this trim and it also has the blacked out parts here and I think it also adds the tinting standard in the back. You can see on these tires, they're massive, which adds a lot of nice grip to it. It also, for the night package option, it gives you blacked out tips and yeah, it makes it look more sporty. This, if you didn't notice, this also pops open and that's where the rear camera pops open. While we're here, we're gonna jump into the back. Hopefully you guys noticed this cool feature as well with this studio performance package is it comes with the Dynamica on the side here which is really nicely cross-stitched with um, accent stitching silver. Then really nice feature is it has the Dynamica in the seat and then it's leather here. It also has the pinstripe seat color with the orange accents which continues on from the exterior so that all comes into the studio performance package and then you even get it on the floor mats so you don't want to lose those ones because those come with the car and I'm sure it's pretty hard to find those later on um, while I'm in the back here, I'll show you. You have a nice compartment that opens up there. You can put a little device up there. Charge your phones. You also have a nice armrest, which I always love. You can put your skis open back there. Another important part is it has a black headrest, so it doesn't stay dirty. And it has this nice continuous look to the car interior wise and yeah we can jump in don't want to get it super dirty but i'll show you in here you have a good amount of leg room for a normal sized driver and here a lot of people say the headroom is not so good but for me i would say it's perfect size one size fits all sometimes. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, basically that's the front view from the back, which is really sleek looking. And then you have a pretty good amount of visibility. Also here is one of the parking sensors so you can see that and it's directly positioned so you can see it in the rear view mirror there. And then you also have these little visibility glass openings for um, when you're driving. So you don't have as many blind spots. So another nice feature that I'll show you is it has the panorama moonroof that opens up. So let's jump out. <laughs> So let's get in the front. I'll also show you the engine compartment because I think you guys like that. 
and it's always in the same spot in every Mercedes. Except for if it's on the right hand drive, because then of course it would be on the other side. Uh. So, we can do it with one hand. I'm a pro at that, right? So, since this is the V6 twin turbo, it has the AMG Sports tuned um, package. It's not a one man, one engine, or actually nowadays one man, one woman engine options, but uh, that's in the 63. So then you'd have a name plaque there. And it's pretty cool. You also, not a lot of people know, but you can um, jump start your car if you ever need to right there instead of digging out the battery in the back. And then there's the ground point. Um, and hope you guys are enjoying the view of the engine because a lot of people like to see that part and it's a pretty good size engine in there, right? So, yeah. Then you can also see here is the star. So when you have the driver assist package, you can't get the um, illuminated star, but honestly, I think it's a little classier when you have it without that. Always Mobile One approves, Mercedes Benz approves this oil. These oils, right? <laughs> That's good advertisement, right? So then you can also open this up. I won't show you because it's kind of hard with one hand, but it can go 90 degrees like a lot of the other Mercedes. You can just choose that here and over there. Yep. So let's close it up and hopefully that closed down. Sometimes you need to do it with two hands, but I'll check that later. It will give me a warning. So uh, let's jump in and see the beauty of this interior. So once again, it also has this Dynamica and it also has the lighting package, which matches so you can configure it for the orange look and then you can change it to blue and white and all different colors well this one actually doesn't have the 64 color but it's pretty good you have the seat position so a lot of people wonder why is it on the door and not down here so two reasons why basically so when you're a little bit larger or smaller, you can change the positioning here and you don't have to jump into the car. And for instance, if it's all scooted up here, you would be kind of uh, uncomfortable when you jump into the seat and have to have no leg room. So basically you can control it right from here and positions for you, or you can press the memory buttons here and you're all set. Also, some of the nice features as well that you kind of never notice, but it's personalized per your key, is basically when you jump into the car and unlock it with that one key, it's programmed for your entrance. So it sets the steering wheel when you get in. We'll start her up. It also gives you a nice entrance of the AMG, and hopefully the volume is not too loud turn this down in case yeah so you have the instrument cluster here with the AMG um, instrument cluster on that side you can have the configuration there yeah and basically you can rev it so this is in comfort and it still pops right then Let's test it in sport mode. You can see there, it configures here as well. And yep. then sport plus mode, fun mode, right? So then you have that. So on a lot of the other, some of the other cars, it's the opposite direction. So on the AMGs, it goes from slippery comfort, sport, sport plus race. And then on the 43s, it goes the opposite direction from up to down. So that's the differences between those.
So I can choose here now, which is pretty nice because it was a little bit harder to choose the different apps, um, but it gives you a new layout here. No, not McDonald's. Not, uh, no. We're not in France. Here, let's search. Okay. So let's do coffee. So I'm in the area. I want to have the Conditorei. That's one of my favorite places around here. Oh no, it's closed. Well, let's go and find a different one. Cooper Cafe, that's the legit place. Oh no, it's closed too. Well, coffee places will probably be closed now, so let's choose a restaurant. No, yeah, a restaurant. So we can choose um, Bucks, that's a good place. Yeah, let's choose Bucks. So the directions here were pretty close. And let's go. So this is in Apple Maps. Starting route to Bucks of Woodside. So now what I can do Heady is if I Ranch set um, this, then basically I can have the maps here and the directions, my music. You know it's not touch screen, but I can still play music right there and configure it and change it. I can turn up the volume here. Okay, sound copy right is done for that, but you get the understanding, right? So they added that feature, which is pretty nice. And there, then you also have in the front seats too, the orange stitching. Another cool feature for your coffee or cold drink or your Red Bull for this little size one or for nice espresso cups. You can cool your coffee or uh, drinks or you can heat it. Fancy, huh? Or you can turn it off. There's the ashtray, it's just typical. You can close this so you have a nice closed area there. Have your storage for your phones. Have a good glove compartment there. You can press this button here, which then shows you the screen. Um, I can do the 360 camera. So I can view that by not even putting it in reverse. So I can do 180, the 360 view there. I can also go up here and then choose the different views. Then also up there, let's open this guy up. Ooh, fast and fancy too, huh? <laughs> Sorry, and then if I hit it again, it's gonna open up. And what I'll do, I'll jump outside and show you what it looks like from the car, from exterior. It's actually pretty cool. Another trick people don't know much about is you can hit it again if you want more lighting. But if the passengers aren't liking that, but here, let's jump out of the car and we'll show you what it looks like. Oop. Nice sun set over there. So that's what it's looking like on the car from outside. It has this look to the car, which kind of looks like your hat is flipped backwards, right? Um, but people like it. I've noticed people staring a lot, which is interesting, huh? It's kind of like, whoa, that's different. But there's the nice lighting like I was showing you. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, sorry, I forgot to jump into the trunk here. Jump into my trunk, huh? Okay, so here's the trunk. It has a nice good amount of space. You can also see how the door looks like when it's open on this car. And it opens pretty nicely. It's kind of a little bit of a coupe style. So a lot of people say, hey, why would you get a SUV, but then you would get a coupe style. Well, you kind of want the sporty look too when you're, you know, at a certain age, right? Okay, everyone, hope you guys enjoy the content and video walk around on the GLE 43 Coupe AMG with the AMG Performance Studio package. It's one of the rare ones for the GLE, or actually pretty rare on an AMG anyways, right? And you don't see it too often. So hope you guys enjoy. And 
special thank you to the owner who let me drive the car and also do a nice video on it. So, ciao for now. Bye.